Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. We're gonna random, just no lost. Give me some a break without the lost, please. Lazarus. Well, we don't play as Lazarus very often, so I can't be that mad. Curse of the Unknown, I've forgotten how much HP he starts with. Might be two? W938, RLKA, playing the hottest Steve Winwood tracks of 1985. Coming at you with Higher Love, followed by Higher Love. Uh, there's nowhere to go with that joke from there. Uh, I'm gonna take this pill, but we're gonna wait. One of the things I actually do enjoy doing is Lazarus. Uh, if the situation presents itself, there's a Tinted Rock down here. That was bad damage. Uh, not like it really matters that much in the cellar, but if we could actually like get an HP upgrade from our boss, then what I'd like to do is actually get ourselves killed, respawn, ugh, this is not that good. Respawn with um, Lazarus' rags and then take the HP upgrade. We've got basically the same as Lazarus' starting HP with a small damage upgrade. We sacrificed un HP for it. It's basically like a DIY D with a D. You know, do it yourself, deal with the devil. I thought it was pretty obvious, but I'll spell it out. Now the scissors, I don't even know if I've used those very much on uh, on camera here. I haven't used them very much off camera either. I was always bad with scissors even as a kid. They don't really, they make like left-handed scissors, but the left-handed scissors are always shitty. Like they have like the good foundry that makes the right-handed scissors and then they're like, all right, apprentices, like this is your first day on the job. You're gonna be making left-handed scissors because if we fuck it up, at least you're only fucking it up for 10% of the population, which is bullshit. Fighting the haunts. I guess we use the shears against the haunt. Not the, not the shears, sorry. The, what the heck is going on here? Um, admittedly, I did not think that this was what the scissors do. But on the bright side, as long as we manage to keep ourselves completely safe here, like our head is what takes damage. Um, as long as we just manage to hide ourselves, our head will continue to deal some damage. This is a very weird item, though. I don't do well with... Um, with the scissors. I haven't played nicely with them, they haven't played nicely with me. Apparently there's some kind of rule of three with the haunt, where I, I guess he can only attack like once every three seconds or something like that. I don't know the rules. Right, I just, I just break them. So we should be safe right there, but he might attack like right now. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. The Mississippi's let me down! One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Well, it's a Kind of a rough rule, I guess. Don't f Okay, we're almost done here. I did, like, if we die now, it, it doesn't necessarily have that much of an impact. I would just rather die later, so it's in, within our control, you know? And it's toothpick, so I'd rather not die at all. We can still execute the same thing on the next floor if we want to. Um... You know, I think we just go... Ah, there's an eternal heart. Well, not an eternal heart, a tinted rock. We should at least try. Let's take our pill. Speed up, that is acceptable. And in here we find nothing. So I think, I mean that didn't take that long, but I think we're gonna head down to the next floor, be happy that we have a, um, a key so that we can at least open our item room. We did get a little low. Oh, you have three HP starting as uh, Lazarus. So I, I would still gladly take the opportunity to die as Lazarus and respawn with Lazarus' rags. But the best way to do it on this floor, if we're going to do it, is probably to... And by the way, the reason you do it on the last floor is A, just to be a little clever, but B, you know, getting that damage early gives you a better chance maybe of getting a deal with the devil in the future, but um, on this floor. Uh, the best way for us to do it on this floor would just be to die on a deal with the devil, respawn, and then we'll have taken an extra deal with the devil, which hopefully is good. We're on the basement, which is fine. And the scissors, I really don't know <clears throat> how we're going to use those effectively. I still don't fully understand them, and a large part of that is because I just don't uh, take the opportunity to use them that often, even when I have them. And if I have the opportunity to take, like, literally anything else, I take literally anything else. I thought the scissors gave you the ability to fly. I thought it was, like, a, a worse version of the shears. I guess it is because it doesn't give you the ability to fly. But does your body do damage? Now, your body can still get hit. Does your head do damage? Like, if you manage to get an enemy to walk through your head, does it, like, kick the crap out of them? I don't know. You get it for dying a hundred times, so I guess it makes sense if it's not necessarily great. The wafer is fantastic, though. There's no way we die in one hit anymore. And this uh, gives us a great chance of success on 
the later floors in particular. But for now, the number one thing we can do, I would give up the wafer in a heartbeat if I could guarantee that we would get a deal with the devil on this floor. One bomb could change things so much. But this room is, is in theory, at least not that hard. A little, little stinky, though. Uh, but not that hard. At least it's not the big room that's full of, uh, you know, spiders and flies, or even the big room that's full of just flies. These guys are dying in three hits each, which is not that bad. Still a little bit of riffraff going on down here. No bombs. Might be misusing the, the scissors a little bit. If so, I apologize, of course. It's all good. Might be able to find a secret room by blowing this guy up, like, right there. That will not find it, but at least it will finish the room, and we managed to pick up a bomb, which will allow us to get this tinted rock. And this is really, like, this is the brain surgery part of this run, which is not to say that it's difficult, but it's the part where you want to be... Oh, that didn't really work out. You want to be careful, you know? We got broken onk. Small rock. I mean, small rock is lovely. It wasn't what I was looking for in particular, but... Maybe it's better this way, because we'll get small rock, an item we wouldn't have otherwise had. And all we have to do to secure our deal with the devil is not get hit. Easier said than done. Sometimes. Sometimes it's easier done than said. People go, yeah, just don't get hit. That's easy, and then you just do it. Uh, our run is not quite strong enough to really feel like we're just going to, you know, steamroll the boss. But hey, we got a chance at it. And a bomb here would be so nice. Come on, come on. Come on, all right. We're going to have to do it this way, then. Double monstro. I'm not even going to use the scissors, because I'm, I'm afraid of the unknown. Oh, no! Okay, so our deal with the devil is now ruined. That was a that was the realest reaction I could offer in the moment there. This is fine. Uh, it, it might seem bad, but I was kind of thinking of doing it anyway if we got a uh, an HP upgrade. So we've just been forced into the decision now. And we got Magic Mushroom, so I, this is something I would have done anyway. Uh, it's... A nice way of me saying, hey, don't hate me because I took two hits against fucking Monstro, but at the same time, it actually maybe worked out in our favor. I'm not going to say guaranteed, uh, but it might have worked out in our favor. Now, like, Magic Mushroom, Small Rock, Toothpicks, Lazarus's Rags, we've got a lot of, like, really, really nice damage implications going on here. Plus, this Spirit Heart should give us a great chance of getting a deal with the Devil on this floor. And if we are able to do that, then I really, really like our chances of success in the future. We are going to be one one uh, floor behind the 8-ball because of the fact that I did get hit there, but it doesn't really matter because the Magic Mushroom pickup is so strong. Tears Upgrade is fantastic as well. In case you've uh, missed a few episodes here and uh, aren't a prodigious reader of the wiki, Magic Mushroom is, is if I remember correctly, Magic Mushroom is a times 1.5 damage modifier. So the same as Cricket's Head, plus it raises your stats by uh, variable impacts in all categories. So... It's uh, basically Cricket's Head plus a little bonus on top of it, which is a really, really nice amount of damage for us. Especially if we're, uh, you know, concerned about the amount of damage we're doing right at the start of this run. RoboBaby 2.0, it's alright. I'm going to consider, like, any damage that we get out of RoboBaby 2.0 is uh, a blessing. We're not, we're not going to plan for too much damage out of it, but when we get it, that's fine. You gotta put it, like, within the range to hit the enemy. I don't know. One of these days, I'll sit down and I'll say, Hey, you know what, RoboBaby 2.0? I'm gonna start to learn what's up with you, and maybe I'll be able to use you effectively. I know there are some people that think that RoboBaby 2.0 is very good. I'm not necessarily one of those people. But uh, I, I am willing to recognize that that might be a me problem. Now, if we can just keep RoboBaby doing that, yeah, that's okay. I can understand the value there. So, what would our greatest possible assets be on a deal with the devil? I would love to get Guppy's Tail. Because we have Flat Penny. Flat, tenny, flat Penny, Guppy's Tail goes together extremely well. I wonder if we can make it down here before there's any risk. We could indeed. Um, I would love to get... Well, I would love to have a chance to become Guppy. I would love to pick up Brimstone. It's been a while, honestly. And with the high damage that we have, it would be awesome. Explosive Diarrhea doesn't bother me that much because we're unlikely to come back to that room unless we need to get to, get to full health, which if we need to get to full health, we've, we've done something terribly wrong. Okay. Seven cents. Uh, we'll go back for that key. We're making very good time. Probably about a minute ahead of schedule, which stands to, to pretty much only get better. Uh, the more damage we take and the more opportunities we have for things like deals with the devil, for example. Very easy fight. I'm happy with my... Whoa! I'm happy with my cube of meat or ball of bandages. 
would have preferred to keep a meat, I guess, just on the off chance somehow we managed to make it work, but, um, like, make it get ourselves up to, uh, a fourth level, which I'm not even sure if that would even be possible at this point, but we're gonna come back here just because my survival is kind of important to me. We're gonna come back here and try to get our shop to pay out with a spirit heart, hopefully, but then we're just gonna leave. So don't teleport me into like a mini boss room or something like that before I come in here. There is a spirit heart. We're going to pick that up. That's fantastic. We'll come down and around. This is actually where we want to be, even though it did throw me off temporarily. Great. Uh, now I don't feel bad at all about picking up uh, the pentagram, which did put us in a very risky position, but is a good item in and of itself and gives us, you know, the possibility to have uh, more deals with the devil in the future. Let's continue. <clears throat> Had a little bit of congestion in my throat ever since I've come back from vacation. You know, normally I get sick when I uh, travel. You know, I end up getting like, my body is finally like, okay, you don't need to use your voice for a while. We're going to get sick now. Take this opportunity to build up your immune system and then you'll be good when you go back. But I actually didn't get sick on this last trip, which is a good thing. But I think I... I haven't had the, the requisite days that I normally have to kind of like rest my throat, so I should probably just take a couple days off, but uh, Kate and I are going away for a couple of weeks in early January, so I would like to knock out real Platinum God before that at the very least, and who knows if that's going to take me two runs here or if it's going to take me a hundred runs here. I have no idea. And you have my word that during that trip, I will not open my mouth at all. Well, maybe like for, for foods and liquids and stuff like that. I'm not going to like a Buddhist retreat or anything like that. Not that like there'd be anything wrong with that. Anyway, let's go back here and pick this up. I'm really excited to see what this deal with the devil may offer. I would love to pick up anything that would take all of our HP and give us spirit hearts in return. Especially if this would pay out with something worthwhile. I recognize, by the way, I'm not using the scissors at all. Well, this is like the opposite of what I wanted, but that's... Still not that bad. Um, the reason I'm not using the scissors is because I don't trust the scissors. It might be a good thing, but it's just, it's unknown, you know? If I have a good run, I don't want to mess with these unknowns because it might put me in a position where my good run all of a sudden becomes not so much of a good run anymore. Yeah, we'll go to that cursed room. I don't think the shears will, or the scissors, sorry, will help me out there. We'll lose one of our spirit hearts, but that's fine. We got another red heart to replace it. I'd rather have the spirit hearts, but it is what it is. Curse room sucked the big one. But our damage is, is high enough that, like, this is the, I wouldn't say it's the most damage that I've had short of having, like, polyphemus or proptosis or something like that. But you know what would be awesome on this run? Polyphemus or proptosis. That's all I'm saying. Killing enemies very quickly. Notched axe. Look, I don't think notched axe is that good. But, you know, I was talking, I was like, oh, you know what's awesome? The Hagalaz rune plus, uh, blank card. That's surprisingly good. I mean, the notched axe is basically that. You can still attack with Robo Baby 2.0 where we're crushing all this stuff, but... Uh, notched axe is basically that. Except I don't want to use it to crush mushrooms because they could still explode in my face. So there is, there's one negative there. Uh, I don't think notched axe is very good, but I do think it's going to be the item that I'm going to roll with for now. And if I end up having to use it until the very, very late game, well, I wouldn't feel great about that, but it would be what it would be, right? It is what it is. We're at 12 minutes, and this is Caves 2, Catacombs 2, my mistake. Uh, that is our shop, we don't have any money. Yeah, no, this is fine. So we're going very quickly, we have a very good chance to add Boss Rush if we want it. We've already used Lazarus's Rag, so we're not going to respawn, but at the very least the streak, it's looking like it's going to be kept alive here, which is nice. Curse of the Maze again, doesn't really bother me. Probably going to have to go, uh, you know, meet our maker on those big rooms anyway, so... If we get teleported to them by accident, it's just kind of an unfortunate uh, fact of life, isn't it? Well? How do you like that? I mean, it does <laughs> slow us down, but there you go. I didn't... I wouldn't have looked for that Tinted Rock if I had not had Notched Axe. So we'll throw a bomb down here. That was almost certainly not worth it. This is a much, much better room for us to be using uh, Notched Axe on, but luckily it only takes three rooms to recharge, so... We'll be able to get good use of it here. I haven't really been able to pick up very much money on this run. Should be looking for secret rooms because the, the keys that we could generate from it are enormous. Uh, there's a mob trap room. 
their red chests, we probably would have done it. Without red chests, it's kind of hard to swing that deal in my head. We don't really need any of any consumable right now. Stars card could use that to teleport out of the boss rush, and all of a sudden, my ears have perked up a little bit. I'm excited about our chances here uh, to make something good happen there. Bit of a tricky dodge. We're going to lose our spirit heart, so I think instead of going to the curse room right now, I'm going to wait on it, and we'll go to our curse room after we go to the boss fight, if we have time. Because I really don't want to lose the spirit heart and find ourselves in a position where I... Un Lovely. Hey. <laughs> uh, where we find ourselves in a position where um, I maybe take damage against the boss and then can't get to our devil room. That would be unfortunate. All right. Created a lot of these. We got a chariot card. We got a joker card. I'll just use that right away then. Uh, yes, this is good but also incredibly terrifying. So the Death's Touch pickup is good. Do we want the Stars card? I guess. Uh, we're gonna be doing, excuse me. We're gonna be doing so much damage, but we can't afford to get hit at all. But this is the way that I like to play. Uh, I mean, I also like to play, keep myself alive if possible. That's a really nice game. If you guys ever played that one? If we find our shop, should be fine. Find our shop by a spirit heart in time. That's my motto. We're gonna be good. That's my motto. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Got some work to do on my songwriting. My lyricism talents, I, I should say. Let's just try this out. I mean, my thinking is that we'll get like a Hierophon card or some kind of, you know, some kind of anything that keeps us alive a little bit longer, like gives us a spirit heart or something like that, but it hasn't happened yet. Riveting commentary for me today. Some kind of anything. It's like a BTO song or something. All right, moving along then. Prayer card is probably awesome here. Sorry, Notched Axe. It's been fun while it lasted. Uh, okay. Champion's belts. Here's the thing, like I really want to get that. But I don't want to walk on the spikes by axe. There we go. All right, that's somewhat meaningful now. I wonder if we can get another prayer card uh, before the end of the floor. It should be conceivable. I might even try to look for... Uh, I won't. Nah, I can't. I, it just takes too long. If we're still trying to get a free item from Boss Rush, we should take advantage of that. And the second Stars card. Alright, we've been to our special rooms here. That's fine. Adversary. Little tricky, but our damage is going to be nuts. Our damage is nuts, as you can see. Just keep moving, because this is not the dark one. It is the adversary, which means that the brimstone shots could be coming when you least expect it. Cage attack. It's alright. You are dead. And we will have a deal with the devil, presumably. Or did we already... Oh, we already had one, and we got Death's Touch. That's right. That's okay. We'll take our bombs. We'll head down to the next floor. We got uh, five minutes, which is more than enough time to do our due diligence on this floor. Four and a half minutes, I should say, but still pretty good. I like our chances, actually. And we don't have to go to our item room. If we find it right away, we might go to it, but we don't have to go to it because we'll teleport to it after the boss rush. Again, we, we don't really need to, uh, to, to speed up here. We're, we're fairly good on time. And I'm liking this run a lot now. The one obvious problem with it is that we are in a pretty rough spot from an HP standpoint. Now, we could save a key and not enter this room, but I'd rather just go to it right away. And we've realized that it's not very good for us, even though it does, uh, Magic Fingers does scale with our damage. Uh, I think Prayer Card is going to be a little bit more useful for us, even if it only gives us a few HP over the remainder of the run. In a lot of situations, that might be kind of... Not that meaningful, but in our situation, it's extremely meaningful because it could be the difference between life and death. And especially, this is an item that, that really makes finding things like batteries really nice, too. But, uh, in particular, we want to have, like, a an odd-numbered usage of it by the time we exit the floor. There m should be enough rooms on this floor to make that happen. Okay, we got another Star's card. This is just getting a little ridiculous at this point. Uh, I don't see a battery there. We're not going to be playing that. Uh... If I could get bounce the oh snap that was dumb. If I could bounce the golden key out of there, can we bounce the chest out of there as well? Like very very slowly. That just pushed it back right into its normal position. All right, that's three bombs for no reason. I can't justify that anymore. All right, taking some bad damage, but there's our eternal heart. Now we just got to get the one more and protect it. 
I don't know if I like my chances on this run, but I don't hate them. And I, I really, if nothing else, love the damage that we're doing. I've played kind of poorly, but at the same time, uh, I don't know if, if my play has been a big determining factor on this run. Depends what we missed out on in that first deal with the devil, I guess. This one, I'm, I'm just in it for the win now. Come on. Alright. Balls of steel. Balls of steel. Health down! That was like, quite literally the worst possible time for that. If I had gotten that just slightly earlier, it would have been a health upgrade. That is devastating. Alright, well we... You're, these guys are all going to rush out here. This should be easy to, yeah, they'll just line up. Uh, we will get one more... Uh, prayer card charge from beating our boss. No spirit hearts. Black hearts? No black hearts. Alright, let's beat mom. Don't bung this one up. This is a real deadly situation here. Curse of Darkness against mom, I find, is actually kind of a big detriment. It makes it harder for me to see the shadow on the ground. We're one hit away from death, potentially. Depends what we get hit by. That could have done it right there. We're still alive. Really don't want to put ourselves in a position where anything will kill us, though. Most important thing. Good. Good stuff. Okay, we did get a deal with the devil. We got time. We're going to take the Polaroid. We're going to pop this just in case. Yeah, just in case this exact thing happened. But we should be able to hopefully snag Lump of Coal here. I would prefer to keep Prayer Card. Lump of Coal, Lump of Coal, Lump of Coal. Okay, that's pretty good. And then inside of our boss rush room with plenty of time. I think we have to go Parasite here. Does it even work? Eh, it works. Alright, I'm, I'm happy with this. There are ways I could be happier. Uh, if we were like two hits away from death, that would be better for me. Might want to check out our shop here. This is a bit of a weird one. I'm not very happy with my play. I think if we could have some more spirit arts working in our favor, that'd be awesome, but... Uh, we don't. Let's go down. Well, I'm going to try this out. All right, let's go down. So, it's pretty easy. What's our strategy? Don't get hit twice. We're the lost right now, except we can't fly. We got a ton of damage working out in our favor. Okay, this is really good. You know what would be a space bar item that would make me get rid of prayer card right now? Tammy's head. No question about it. Now, we're going to be very vigilant at looking for tinted rocks. I don't think that's one up there. That's that's my level of vigilance. We're going to be very vigilant. Mm, I don't think that's one, so let's save a bomb. It was kind of obscured by the map a little bit. What's this one? Two magician cards. Somebody up there must like me a lot. As you can see, our damage with uh, Death's Touch and the Parasite is, is stellar. The problem is still that if we get hit, we basically are dead. Uh, I don't love that. I'm not going to write that a Christmas card next year. I'm not going to invite it to my birthday party. If we can just get, like, even one Tinted Rock, I'd feel so nice about the Tower. Man, the Magician might be worse than the Tower, but at least the Magician card is not going to kill us outright. Look, there's something to be said for not using the Prayer card right away, but I like to live dangerously here. I don't see any Tinted Rocks. Okay. Thank you, RoboBaby 2.0. That makes my life a little easier. That is not our boss fight. It's alright. Any enemy tries to get close, they're in trouble. Single penny? Not really what I was expecting to get there. This is going to be like the fastest dangerous run I've ever had. So we've got another kind of tall room happening here. Gurglings are going to die in, in due time. If I could get rubber cement, that would be lovely. I'm not like... Trying to ask the game for more, necessarily. Uh, the Parasite pickup by itself was pretty nice. If, if it weren't that, we'd have to go for ch freaking Charm Shots. What do we want out of Charm Shots? Not too much. Or they fear... Sh no, it was Charm Shots, I think. Oh, yes, there we go. So now we can get hit three times. How many rooms do we have left? One, two, three, four, five, six. As long as well, we might have to do a little bit of backtracking, but we theoretically should be able to... Oh. Theoretically should be able to get, like, two HP out of this now. Let's backtrack. Oh, no. we As long as we keep this alive, it doesn't matter. Right. This is correct. 
Or if we just get another battery, that'd be sweet too. Oh, okay. Well, that's gonna take us up to four. That that's some trademark Northern Lion luck there. Even though it doesn't fit the rules that I set for the definition of that earlier. I can't lie, that's pretty amazing. And I may, after I beat the boss, want to try to get one more Eternal Heart. We'll only need to go to like two more rooms to do it. Yeah, we'll see. Hey, long legs first. Easy enough. Lump of coal, really helping out. No deal with the devil, we get squeezy instead. I think this is one of the very few times where it actually is in my best interest to backtrack specifically to get another prayer card charge. The amount of HP we have for once, and I, I don't mean this sarcastically, normally damage is your number one predictor of success, and it probably still is here, but um, we're also interested in uh, getting as much HP as possible because our damage is amazing, but our HP is shit. Not quite doing as much damage as I'd like, but it's okay. One more room and we'll have picked up four HP on a single floor, which is just for goddamn ridiculous. I like this run. This has been a run with some ups and downs, but uh, it's been fun. And it's not over yet in either regard, and I like that. I like when, you know, you're still invested late into the run here because anything could happen. Safety cap or flat penny? I think we're better off probably with the... Uh, neither? <laughs> with, is there another option? But I'll... I'll stick with Flat Penny for now, just in case we luck into a Guppy's Tail or something like that. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna come in here. I thought about not doing it. Uh, this should give us two boss room items. The Pandora's box here. I forgot we had the wafer as well, so we're actually, uh... Oh, that's pretty solid. We're actually, we got like five HP up on one floor. Um, but, uh, yeah, also the tiers plus shot speed upgrade. Plus the tiers plus shot speed downgrade. That's pretty solid. Um... That is, that's really good. This one floor by itself, combined with some fairly good, you know, battery dro drops, uh, the shrewdness to backtrack, I think this might have saved us. If we were in a dire state, which, it's debatable. We were, we're still doing a lot of damage either way. But, uh, people have told me that, uh, the Torn Photo is one of the best DPS upgrades in the game. Well, we have it. Seems to be doing pretty nicely. Again, rubber cement. My kingdom for rubber cement here. We don't really have much of a kingdom to offer here. The rubber cement would be dope. That's why I'll appeal to the the, the stokedness of the, the pantheon of Binding of Isaac Rebirth Gods. How stoked would you be to see a dope run right now, Zeus of Binding of Isaac? Wicked stoked? Alright, give me rubber cement, see what happens, dog. 14 keys, I think it would be stupid to not check this out to see if there's maybe a... Uh, library uh, in there, and uh, maybe there's all books and shit. Yeah, Book of Revelations is one of them. I think at this point, I'd probably rather have Book of Revelations than Prayer Card. Book of Revelations gives us one guaranteed Spirit Heart. Prayer Card gives us one not guaranteed Red Heart. That's as deep as I'm willing to go with the analysis there. There is a Tinted Rock. I think we've won this one. Relatively smart play combined with a little bit of luck. You always need a little bit of luck. Um, that's that's going to carry us here. And our damage is just stupid. But I'm going to be opening up so many golden chests. If you're not going to give me rubber cement, which I can understand, give me... Give me Tammy's head. It would be so much fun right now. Alright, this guy does not stand a chance. Just stand as far away as we can. Unfortunately, with piercing shots, the shots kind of bounce off, so the... They're not getting much of the parasite effect on Mom's heart, but that's okay. We'll be heading up to the next floor, and this is looking at, it's been a very fast run, actually. I guess I mentioned that two floors ago, but I'd forgotten, because we're moving so quickly. But this is pretty awesome. I guess we we probably do, like, three times more damage to enemies that are against the wall, because that's where the piercing shots seem to be breaking. Or not piercing, well, yes, piercing shots, but that's where, the, like, the parasite seems to be hitting. But the ability to hit all three enemies at the same time is pretty useful as well. I am excited for uh, for the chest on this run. This is pretty nice. Really? You're gonna... I, I was trying to sound indignant there, but then the game actually did me a, kind of a solid, so... Not that worried about it. This is some crazy damage. What's our card? Judgment. Throw that down there. I'll take whatever you want to give me at this point. We don't have money equals power, so I'm not sweating this too much. Even an HP upgrade. How about an Empress card? That's gonna be really nice against Blue Baby. More keys? If you give me some golden chests, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind coming across a key beggar right now, to be honest with you. 
Sure. More HP is more HP. Five cents for uh, our next judgment card. Tammy's head. Tammy's head. That is not Tammy's head. I don't really care about that. The twelfth bomb there doesn't really matter to me. I'm worried that I would lose a key walking over to it. Now the fifteenth key doesn't matter to me that much either, but Burkano. It's going to give us a ton of extra damage, but like only for one room. Uh, but Burkano's pretty good. I don't see any reason for us to have to take damage anytime soon. That is not a tinted rock up there, I think. Kind of had a little tintedness to it, but I don't think it's a tinted rock. Curse of Darkness makes it a little bit more difficult to parse what champions you're fighting. That can be a little dangerous. You know, the difference between fighting a uh, red champion and a dark green champion is a big difference. Does RoboBaby 2.0 scale with your damage? If so, that's pretty excellent. Did we even need that? I guess we didn't even need that. Uh, that's not a tinted rock either. All right, let's do this. Isaac uh, pretty much doesn't stand a chance in hell. We'll just do a little bit of a rotation here. Make sure we're firing in shots in such a way that we're not really in harm's way at the same time. Any detritus that you spawn is not going to be very problematic for us to deal with. And there we go. All right, so the hardest part of the fight is actually over now. You're in the perfect situation to get hit by Robo Baby at the same time, and this is over. That was crazy good. All right, down to the next floor. Hopefully some sweet synergies. I would love Tammy's head. I would love chocolate milk. I would love Monstro's lung. We've gotten Monstro's lung a lot today. Piggy bank. Oh, Eve's mascara is so good. Rotten baby, so good. Monstro's lung, all right. Well, this might take forever to charge, but my hope is that it's worth it. That looks pretty awesome. Multi-stage enemies are gonna be like our biggest annoyance, I think. Maybe? How much damage? The one fly does like one third of the haunts HP. I couldn't really have asked for a better. S I might as well take the piggy bank. Couldn't have really asked for a better selection of items on the chest here. Eve's mascara is like times two damage, but it really lowers your shot speed. It might be a slight tears down as well. And then Monstro's lung, of course, is a just a charge shot. And Rotten Baby is just helping us out because it's doing uh, our flies do so much damage. You noticed how big our tears are getting? As they, uh, as Lump of Coal affects them? That's ridiculous. I like this a lot. So we have no need for Book of Revelations. You do not stand a chance in hell. I'm kind of surprised the other husk didn't get killed instantly. Well, not instantly, but as soon as those shots made it over there. Not really that interested in Yelmahard, to be honest with you. This is like the most, oh, I was going to say, of course we're going to get the Yara rune now. Like, after we've already opened all the chests. Oh well. You can't just, like, bypass the chests in the hope that you get a, a Yara rune later. That's a little too optimistic even for me. Where you at, dog? Alright. Well, could we multiply dead cat? Like, I don't think it works that way. Well, better to find out, though. Nope. The only other way we could have used that is on a golden chest anyway, so I don't mind that too much. We might find a golden chest, but then we would have multiplied it into two. Not really that big of a deal. In the whole scheme of things. Tarot card is justice. Wish that dropped a chest. That would make it a lot better on the chest, but it's okay. Let's just let uh, the baby take care of this. Or, like, the, the flies take care of this. Yeah, they're pretty strong. Well, this run looked, like, really dangerous for a long time, but it uh, actually turned out to be fairly easy by the end of it. Thank you, flies. That was not very good damage. I forgot we had the wafer as well. This is so ridiculous. I mean, I forgot that I forgot we had the wafer as well. We'll just pop this. We're ready to go. I'm very thankful now that I didn't lose this run when it looked like I was going to lose this run. Because that would be pretty disappointing. We would have missed out on one of the most fun Monstro's Lung runs I've ever had. I can't believe I called it, too. I mean, it's, it's entirely random chance. But I was like, man, Monstro's Lung would be sweet. There it effing is. Kind of a long chest here. I'm getting a little little long in the tooth if you just let me finish this run that would be awesome I was expecting that maybe our boss rush would, or boss room would be fairly close here and oh sure why not concussive tears I'm very sorry about this blue baby yeah it, it kind of sucks for you that whoa you're still alive okay thank you rotten baby for, for finishing the job we want to finish with full health you know leave a good-looking corpse thanks for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this run if you did click the like button it helps out a great deal and of course 
Subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Uh, but for now, both Isaac Stretch. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.